Hey guys, Badu1979. Just a quick video showing you my newest SKS. This is a uh, Russian, I'm guessing, refurb. So um, I just got that. I only paid 75 bucks for it because I traded in a gun and some ammo. So, but overall, the gun itself was 200 bucks. This one was hand pick. I chose it myself uh, between that and five or six other other guns and this was the best one out of the bunch so you can see that little pin limiting the uh, the mag the five rounds here in Canada of course you can see the bolt you can see the inside of the bolt there I mean not so bad right uh, the sights I mean there's a lot of matching numbers on it I don't know if it's all matching numbers but it's got the blade bayonet and the barrel you guys won't be able to tell but it's chrome line so excellent i mean this gut this barrel looks like uh when i looked it up at the uh sporting store i mean this gun the barrel was just shiny chrome didn't have any dirt and debris uh, most of the time when you look at SKSs, you're gonna look down the barrel with a flashlight hopefully um you're gonna be uh, you're gonna see a lot of junk gunk like it's never been clean I mean never and it's just so horrible my dad doesn't clean out his gun he doesn't even clean out the barrel I mean he doesn't do anything to his gun so I tried to teach him otherwise but you know it's hard but uh, when you look down inside a barrel of an SKS look if it's you know if it's worn out if it's got junk gunk and stuff like that I personally went with a chrome line barrel because Extended life. I know some people say, you know, a poor chrome line job, a cro a chrome line job is, you know, uh, almost as good as no job at all. But, um, you know, personally, if it shoots good, that's all that matters. That means the chrome line is going to be good. So everything works great. The only thing is the spring is a little stiff when you pull it back. Uh, I might have to get another another recoil spring. That's twelve bucks plus about twelve fifteen bucks shipping, but. I had the joy of living in Canada, right? Everything's more expensive here. Taxes are horrible. Shipping is horrible. Everything is horrible here. So, gun laws are freaking horrible. Anyways, just a new look at another SKS. I mean, one SKS. Who sold the punch? Uh, this is a uh, something I traded in, but then I saw something else on some website. Something I wanted for a long time ago. And it's in a box right here, yeah, on the floor. And this is a um, you know Chinese military version, unissued, so never been fired. Yep, can't wait to take that out of the box. Full of cosmoline, gonna have to wash it out. Probably gonna do that somewhere where I got a little bit more space outside or some shit. So I'm gonna take out the parts and go clean them out. So all right, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick first look on uh, my Russian SKS model uh, 1953 yep 1953 says R on it don't know if that means anything maybe for refurbished duh so um, anyways I uh, can't wait to go to the range get myself a couple of ammo why because it's like four bucks a box of ammo I uh, can get some cheaper but you have to buy the entire crates and that's 200 bucks already spent like 400 bucks on a, on a rifle on two rifles so it's not so bad well actually the total might have been like 200 and something dollar i mean 500 and something dollars but like i said i traded in a gun my 17 hmr which you guys have seen before it's gone yeah single shot hnr 17 hmr traded it in for an sks and got myself persuaded to get another sks chinese military unissued chrome line barrels spike bayonet so never been fired that's gonna be fucking awesome to shoot um just a little quick uh, note i bought a tapco magazine for it to replace that one the tapco is just way too wide and you know i've tried to sand the interior but i realized that uh, i'm gonna have to take out way too much material out of the stock uh, right now you can see a little bit of a wiggle on the just that bottom part if you close it up then there's no wiggle it's solid but I don't want to play around with it too much I stopped right there and I said I'm gonna leave the stock in original condition and I'm probably gonna turn this one right here the uh, Russian model 
into a, a project gun and I'm probably going to get a stock for it and then put the Tapco or another type of magazine on it so um, this is going to be something a bit more of a project to suit it up and uh, you know you guys can tag along for the progress I'm probably going to film it if I'm doing some mods on it so um, hope to see you guys on the next one hope you enjoyed this video see you later